Welcome back to Village in Motion. It is January the 10th and it is cold outside this morning and I am so glad that you're still with us uh, for Village in Motion today. In this segment of the show, uh, we have our uh, director, excuse me, our manager of home health uh, and in the form of Ann Anastasio. And we're so glad that she's with us this morning. Thank and you. Anne, we're glad to have you back with us. You were on several months ago, yes. shortly after you arrived. And that was three months ago that you arrived, right? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. Lots of things happened since then, huh? A lot in the past three months. Yeah. What's happened with home health? Just speaking of that, lots have happened in three months. What's happened in home health? What we found with, with home health, we're growing the department. Uh, we've already added another full-time physical therapist. Okay. We're looking possibly for some more part-time therapists and nurses to come in because mm. we want to grow the business because the, the community, there's a need for folks to stay in their apartments mm -hmm. and independent living that we can provide some extra services for them. Okay. Uh, to get them back to where they need to be. Right. So the services that we're looking, we have nursing, which will do a lot of medication instructions, medication management, uh, disease management, congestive heart failure, diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, physical therapists to help with ambulation, use of new equipment, for example, different walker or mm -hmm. uh, wheelchair uh, change. Occupational therapy helps with a lot of equipment in the showers to make sure that everyone is safe getting in and out of the showers and taking care of their personal needs. Speech therapists to help a lot with swallowing issues or speech issues. Okay. Are all those individuals, all those employees full-time or are they part-time or are they case by case? We have right now two full-time nurses okay. and one full-time physical therapist and then we have two part-time nurses and two part-time PTs, two part-time, oh, three part-time occupational therapists and one speech therapist. And they will switch off back and forth between Garden Ridge and us. So a lot of times mm -hmm. they will see the, the, the residents in Garden Ridge mm -hmm. and then continue them here okay. in home health. All right. And once again, for everybody's knowledge, mm -hmm. to separate home health and home support. What's the difference? Home health is certified home health care, which is supported by Medicare and is paid for 100% by Medicare as long as there's a skilled need there. And a skilled need would be, uh, a service that has to be provided by an individual such as a registered nurse, physical therapist, occupational therapist, okay. and homebound status, which means it makes it very difficult to get out of the house. It right. doesn't mean that they can't go to dining services or to the physician's office, right. but getting out of the residence is very, very difficult for them. Home support is private pay. That's mm -hmm. technically private duty for uh, someone to come in anywhere from two hours up to 24 hours for the resident's safety, okay. and that's private pay. Okay, but you're the ones that get money from the government, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> even through the shutdown. Uh, I was just gonna ask. As far as I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think CMS is still operating. Oh, very good, mm -hmm. very good. Speaking of the shutdown, any other effect on, on, on you, home health, with the shutdown? We've not noticed it, and even if there was a, a financial issue with the government, we feel it's more important to take care of our residents. They're, they're our number one priority, okay. and the payment, those issues will work out with finance and right. with the government later. Okay. Speaking of, 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 your, of your residents, the patients. Mm -hmm. How many do you have on a, on a monthly basis? It varies quite a bit, but I think our average census is around 25 to 30. We're trying to grow the business. Mm -hmm. It seems to be increasing in the winters with more pneumonias, um, occasional flu. No specific outbreaks that we've seen at this point okay. is what we're looking at. Good. So we have not had any flu outbreaks so far? No, not that I'm aware of. Wonderful. Yes. Very good. So how many people got the flu vaccine, do you know? I believe... For the home, for the staff, it's supposed to be 100%. As for the residents, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, it is highly encouraged, and every resident that we've admitted into certified home health has had both their flu and the pneumonia oh, vaccines. Tremendous, mm -hmm. very good. And it's, it's not too late to still get a flu no, shot? No, it's not, never too late. It takes okay. about two weeks for it to kick in, so this is a great time to get it done, because right. flu season will really ramp up uh, January, February, and even into March. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and it, we definitely have reached the flu season, right? Yes, we have. <laughs> So far, we've been insulated here mm -hmm. at Green Springs, and that's wonderful. Right. Mm -hmm. With the work that you, all the personnel that you have, that you do, mm -hmm. what can residents do to make life easier? Oh, that's a good question. Um, the residents that we've been servicing so far have been absolutely wonderful. They're, they're thrilled to pieces that we're there helping them out. Um, we 
when we come to the home, they need to be there for the appointments that we've set up. So we work with the residents making calendars so that they know when they have doctor's appointments that we won't be able to see them. Um, setting up the nursing schedule, when they're going to come in, when physical therapy is going to come in, and keep a very strict schedule in the home. Mm -hmm. And the list of their medications yeah. and let us know of any changes that are occurring is always a good thing to know. Mm -hmm. It's always a good thing, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. With um, changes in the home, mm -hmm. that really is more of home support doing those changes or is it more of, of home health? It could be a combination of both, actually. Home health is in there in short periods of time. So we may admit a patient for maybe a stroke. Mm. And for ner they'll go from the hospital to Garden Ridge for a while, then come back and they'll be, we'll follow up with, nursing will follow up for medication management mm -hmm. and instructions, maybe caregiver instructions, uh, either the spouse or a paid caregiver in the home. Okay. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy will help with any residuals from the stroke but we're only in there for anywhere from two to four to possibly six weeks but it's an intermittent care mm -hmm. whereas home support which we work very closely with they will be in there with the resident longer maybe anywhere from a two-hour stint to eight hours to 24 hours or to assist them getting to the medical center mm -hmm. or okay. to other areas that they need to go to and we work with them is how to ambulate the resident to get them safely in and mm -hmm. out of the bathroom, in and out safely of their bed to prevent falls. Because as we age, we tend to have a higher incidence of falls. Okay. And we want to make sure that they're as safe as possible in using all the equipment that they can use. Right. You work though very closely with, with home support, right? And home yes. support's just gotten a new administrator? Mm -hmm. And that's Trish Hawkins, and she is uh, also my boss's boss. I've known Trish for over 20 years. I worked with her for about 15 years. Mm. She came back after, I think, being gone for five or six years, something I believe, like something yes. like that. Right. She's amazing. She will do great things here. Yes. I firmly believe that. Yes, absolutely. She did great things before she left. Yes, <laughs> and she will continue. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. What... What's something that we have not discussed that you want to share with us? Oh, I think a lot of residents may not completely understand the purpose of home health. And we are developing more a wound care program. So for some of our residents who have chronic wounds, especially mm -hmm. as our skin gets more uh, fragile as we get older, we can end up with horrific skin tears that are beyond what they can take care of or mm -hmm. higher risk of infections or uh, like cellulitis, which is a skin infection. Right. So a lot of that area we can work with, or at least we can take the calls, and we work closely with medical center to find out if a resident is coming in, is this more than just a simple Band-Aid? Is this something that needs further work? Mm -hmm. And we do have a wound certified nurse on staff oh, okay. who can evaluate, and she's done amazing treatments with some of our residents. Mm -hmm. um, she has work very closely with the home support and our therapist to make sure that uh, this patient had some pressure ulcers on her backside and work very closely with her to do what we call offloading mm -hmm. so that those sores would heal and to then instruct the home support staff as to how to move the patients around so that they don't redevelop them. It's a and, lot of education. Yeah. And with pressure sores, it's very important to stay off of your back or stay off of that area. Any right? of the pressure points. And it includes heels. It's not just your backside. It could be elbows. It could be your shoulders. Uh, if you're in bed all the time, it, it will hit your hips, your knees, any pressure point, any bony prominence especially. Okay. Very important to move around and to massage the Absolutely. areas. Absolutely. Absolutely. regards to it. Mm -hmm. okay. And your nurses do that, right? Yes. Right. And we, the communication between all the staff, the nurses work very closely with the therapist who also work very closely with home support and the managers in home support to make sure that we are providing the most holistic care. Mm -hmm. Because that's what home, home support, or I'm sorry, home health really is, is holistic. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the whole picture. It's not just dealing with one issue. Right. It's looking at the whole picture, making sure that, do they understand diet? Do they understand medication? Do they understand that the exercises that they need to do, the purpose of movement and how to move safely? and working across the, the continuum with the physicians here in the medical center or the physicians outside right. and family members, those who are here that can help out versus those who live further away. We will talk to them, give recommendations for 
uh, extra services or equipment that is needed. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And all that's under the supervision of, of a medical doctor? Yes, yes. Okay. And so very important that you get evaluated initially, mm -hmm. get referred. Right. So what we knew, if a resident feels that they may need a, um, a visit from home health, well, for example, after the first segment I did with you a few months ago, there was uh, a resident who ran into me in the hall and said, I saw you on TV. I think my, uh, I know someone who could use your services. And that's how we got the service oh, and wonderful. found that was appropriate. Wonderful. So it's going through the, the medical office to get the referral and then for us to go out to evaluate. And as long as certain um, parameters are met, we'll be happy to service. Okay. So if we know someone that needs, may need the service, call me. Give you a call, right? Yes, yeah. And you're in the phone book. We're in the phone book. Okay, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Well, Ann, very glad to have you with us and very glad that you've been with us for three months. Three and months. And you're going to be many, many more. Many right? more years. Great, very good. Thanks again.